<laughs> All right. So um, here is how you, here's a tool, here's a framework uh, to help you visualize your strategic narrative. I call it the strategic narrative canvas. And it's a very simple framework, yet very powerful. It has four areas, as you can see on this diagram. The strategic narrative canvas is a, is a tool to visualize your strategic narrative. You can use it to develop or document uh, existing strategic narratives. It represents the systems, the stories, the practices, the norms, and should uh, that that you know that that gives you narrative power, and that should help you mobilize people to take action. There are four areas here with two dimensions. As you can see on the left, everything on the left is internal to your business. Everything on the right is external to your business. So here, think about your community. Some people will say it's our market. It's our ecosystem. Sure, that's fine. It's collective and external. Here's your customer. Like, who do you serve with that narrative? How do they get to benefit from it? And what will they use? What is the product, the service, the offer that you have to provide to, uh, to really get them to uh, the promised land or utopia, <laughs> if you will, you know, the transformative destination. And inside here is the team and you uh, at the individual and internal level. So it's really uh, those four areas that you can activate to represent your narrative. And those four areas are supported by four practices. As I said earlier, visionary leadership, meaningful marketing, purposeful teaming, and authentic selling. Very quickly, what's inside each of them? And that's you. You had a you had a bit of a of a, of a preview when you did the uh, the the assessment. But visionary leadership is about developing uh, the capacity to tap into your intuition, to tap into what you see that needs to happen and what kind of change are you willing to commit to trigger. Uh, so here are some strategies. Think about your defining moments, your origin story. Um, set some goals within the next 13 weeks and build a practice of journaling. Uh, I practice journaling every day and I talk about it in the podcast where I'm, I'm invited as a, as a guest. And I explain why journaling should be a very disciplined uh, practice and a very free practice at the same time. The second area is meaningful marketing. Narrative power develops when you align your company's purpose with your audience's purpose. Here are some examples of the strategies you can use. Use um, one of the of the main one is called the opportunity story, which you touched on a little bit earlier when I asked you uh, what is the transformative agenda that you that you pursue. That's what this story is about. The fourth one is purposeful teaming. And most people when they, um, not most, but many people when they say this, they go, oh, that, that is, you know, it's just me. <laughs> uh, I don't have a team yet. Well, you don't have a team, but you wear many hats. And it still applies to you. If you can align your team and infuse their work with, with that element, with the purpose here, that's very powerful. So an exercise I like to take my clients through is 10 things you know to be true. Model after the um, 10 things that we know to be true published by Google in the 90s. It was just a simple manifesto of the 10, 10 rules they were they used to build the company. Um, are those rules good? Are they applicable to Google Steel? That's another conversation, but I think the model is worth uh, exploring. And then the fourth area is authentic selling. Remember, we are here in business and there is no, um, no bankrupt no bankrupt organization will uh, trigger change. You need money. <laughs> you need to sell something. Um, you know, selling something is not necessarily just a product or a service. It could be a promise. It could be a change. It could be so many, many different things. You have a whole list of things you can you can do to sell, and you need to do this authentically. That's how narrative power builds. You do this through uh, creating what I call the product story, uh, an internal press release, which is really a description of the value, the benefits that people are going to be able to use even before the offer is actually developed. 
So they are, these are just very, very quickly some examples of the strategies that you can uh, use in these four areas of the strategic narrative canvas.